Hey, Into the End here, back for another game with Inquisitor's Rule. That's the name of the Argentport deck. Okay, looks like another master player. Um, this deck, this hand's not bad. Uh, removal turn 2, removal turn 3. Nothing for this, unfortunately, but this is a uh, pretty good hand. Um, it's good against most decks. I think I'll keep it. This mana, uh, uh, having 3 power is, is fantastic. Um, I can't imagine drawing so many lands if it becomes a unit, but... Um, yeah, we'll play this first. The reason I play this first is it gives me the most option. It gives me both the queen and the shadow, and it's unlikely that I have a unit anytime soon anyway, so... Oh, so it looks like I'm playing against a very aggressive deck. Um, it's... oh wow, this is a lot of power on board very quickly. So, I have a couple of options. I could strip the first burn spell from this hand, uh, maybe even get a rally, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, and I can kill one, which really reduces his power on board. Or I can go nuts and just put this into play and really hope to draw a, a, a non-depleted power source next turn. But even then, I'm only doing four, gaining four. He could be doing a lot more than that. So I think it's the safest to just reduce his... Uh, wow. See, that? that's crazy. So uh, I think... I'm more worried about this than I am this because this allows him to expand his board and, and put more threats on the table. Um, whereas the burn spells, I mean, he can use them both to kill the Silver Wing Familiar before I put the hammer on it. But once I put the hammer on it, if he waits, then, I mean, one hit would negate both of those torches' damage. Um, uh. He kept a one power hand. Um, that's pretty good for me because unless he draws an another power source, he can't even kill this. He can just knock the Aegis off with his torch. So my opponent's kept a really sketchy hand. Um, it's pretty good. He has two torches, multiple one drops. If he had drawn a power, I would be pretty far behind at this point. But because he didn't, um, he took a gamble and it didn't work out for him, I think this game is going to be out of his reach very quickly. Yeah, he agrees and he, he concedes. Um, so this is... I mean, I, I, I complain about variance and, and power variance a lot, but in this particular instance, I feel like it's my opponent's fault for keeping a one power hand. Um, in, in I mean, maybe he took a I took an educated gamble, and uh, and he lost the educated gamble. Okay. Uh, next game, one power. This is very clearly a redraw. Don't really have to worry about any of the other cards. You can't keep any hands with one one power source, as my opponent last game has demonstrated. Um, this is a very very good hand if I can draw a power source within two turns because going from hero of the people into stone powder alchemist is actually amazing oh there it is so i can play two inspires that's fantastic whatever i'm drawing next is going to get plus two plus two perfect even the fourth land that's that's great i don't need to draw any more lands though uh time sigil is it mono time Mono time decks are very good. Um, I'm very afraid of Sandstorm Titan, and uh, well, I can get rid of the first copy, but I'm very afraid of uh, the Predatory Cranosaurus. Well, that card is difficult to beat uh, with my deck. None of my creatures get that big, really. Um, Killer really is a mechanic that destroys decks like mine. Uh, oh, Crown of Possibilities. I see. Um, do I want to go real greedy? <laughs> I can play the other hero first and play this the next turn and give myself uh, two big units, but 
because he's playing blue, I mean, I don't think decks like this would run Lightning Storm, especially if he runs Temple Scribe, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to build this now. I don't want to, I don't need to be that greedy. My hand's pretty good. Um, she can get flying next turn, become a 4-4, four, four, and then maybe that's a 10-7 life stealer with revenge. Uh, I, I think that will be enough to beat most decks. I'm guessing there'll be roaches at some point. Okay. So this doesn't have a new skill, so that was in his opening hand. Um, yeah, play this, silence this, and now I can attack for four. He needs an answer to this hero very soon because he's taking ten next turn, and that's a two-turn clock. Okay, so he found an answer but I will get it back. And if I'm lucky, I'll get it back very soon. <laughs> um, it's a three-color deck. Um, this unit doesn't have Aegis, but because it's such a short clock, I'm going to just go for it. I mean, he has one turn to answer this, and he, then if he doesn't, he loses. Ah, oh, brutal. I just got two for one there. Um... That's a lot of Annihilates. For a lot of decks, uh, Annihilate is not the best rem removal spell. There's a lot of things you can't kill with Annihilate. I use Annihilate because I'm specifically targeting Sandstorm Titans and Mystic Ascendants, etc. But for him, well, it worked out for him. Um, am I going to play this anytime soon? Because there's no point running the hero out there if I can't make it any better. Um, and if he's going to be playing large creatures, I'm going to be forced to Wrath. So there's no point just playing this out to get Wrath away by my, by my own harsh rule. Um, the benefit, though, is if I play the hero and the other hero is on top of my deck, then this is an instant 5-5 five, five, or 4-4, four, 5-5. Four, five, five. And that would be amazing. But then again, if it's on my top of my deck and I get it back, it's amazing anyway. So... I feel like I don't need to overextend. I mean, if this was a single color unit, I may consider playing this out, burning it, and uh, killing it with my removal, and then attack, but, but I can't kill this anyway, and none of these creatures can attack through his 3 3. Getting aggressive. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Oh, so this one he drew because it has Warcry. Warcry is quite good. I can't kill it. It's very annoying. Um, so that's what I drew. I drew three cards since the hero has died. So the next seven cards, I should get it. So how much more do I want to bait? Uh, answer is a lot because I have a pretty high life total. I'm not really worried about dying anytime soon. Um, I want to bait out some of these echo units, which I'm assuming to be roaches. But that doesn't explain why he's playing black. Oh, of course, he's trying to do the the, the, the piercing uh, grief uh, shenanigans with Crown of Possibilities and Echo. Uh, so that's fine. Um, man, okay, now I really need to maybe use this. Because he's doing 6, 12. That's a lot of damage. Uh, so let's just attack get ourselves two free life and then harsh rule and he sees it coming when he when I attack like this he knows I'm casting harsh rule oh he thinks I have a combat trick that's why okay that's fine too that's why he's double blocking because he thinks I have a trick of some kind maybe finest hour um, but no I don't harsh rule and then I'll play the hero afterwards hoping that I can get a hit in it's unlikely but but now that I use my harsh rule, there's no reason not to play this out. Double damage, flying. Oh, so he got echo from one of the. Uh... Oh, that's bad. Okay, so now this game is pulling very quickly away from me. And that's that's really unfortunate. Um, 
I can, I should probably kill this though. This thing is doing six to me next turn. Um, the roaches I won't kill. Um, I should probably save this for the bigger roaches coming up. Um, once again, I, if I, I've drawn what like five cards now, or maybe five, yeah, five cards since the hero uh, was killed. So I really hope I draw that soon. This deck has a much stronger game plan when it comes to value and attrition than my deck does. So this is a deck that has my game plan, but is just better at it. So I would imagine this matchup to be not the best once I have failed to kill him in the early game. Oh, well, that's not a good draw. <laughs> yeah, against this deck, I think I, I needed to get a little lucky uh, for him to not have that second removal spell, the second annihilate, and in which case my my enforcer would have killed him with this with the falchion, or maybe I should have waited for another Angus creature to put this on, um, but I didn't draw one, so waiting wouldn't have been that great either. The fact that this thing got echoed though is is very problematic. Um, no blocks. Is there a point in killing a 2-2? Two -two? I'm just not going to do it. So at this point, even the hero is not going to save me because these things are way too strong. They're all double damage. And they're off killer as well. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. But he's gotten lifesteal. Uh, he's back up to 27. Uh, so it's very unlikely that I can beat him at this point. Mm. I will hold out uh, because I can still draw a harsh rule. There's three more harsh rules in my deck. I have a 3 in 54 chance to draw it. Not the greatest, less than 10%, but we'll play to my outs. Uh, sh yeah, nothing I can do. I can't stop this. Um, I'll just draw some cards from it. Hey, wait, why is it... Wait, hold on, why did it go back into my deck? He's already revenged. Wait, I don't understand what happened. Um, sure. I don't... Wait, I don't... Hmm, why... Why did the hero not go to my graveyard? Interesting. Uh, so I'm dead, right? Because it has overwhelm. Yep. Uh, yep, I'm dead. GG. Okay, I'm gonna have to end the video here. If you're wondering why why some of my video has multiple games and some only has one game, and it's because I have a video recording software that's free and I didn't pay for it and it only gives me a maximum of 15 minutes per video so I'm approaching 14 minutes um, I'm gonna have to break these up uh, but there'll be more videos to come though thanks for watching